Local pastors are coming together, hoping to solve violent or stop violent crime. That group, Churches United for Justice, wants the police department to go after gangs. I'm Kevin Barry. I'm Lauren Halifax, but the KCK police chief says officers already have a strategy that's working and that gang violence isn't a big problem right now. Fox 4's Dave DeMarco live at City Hall where that prayer vigil took place with what police say is behind the violent crime. Dave? Well, he says there are a number of factors, does the police chief, and says with the right resources, an initiative like this could work. But right now, they're really making a big focus on fentanyl related crimes. Carlos was uh, a beautiful spirit. He would light up the room. From the sister of a teen who loved cars, killed three days before Christmas. It's funny because we had a nickname for him, Clutch. Um, so like every time we needed him, like he would always come in clutch. To a pastor whose father was shot and killed in Wyandotte County when he was a child, Churches United for Justice are spreading a message about violent crime. That enough is enough. Meanwhile, at the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department, the city's police chief says his department implemented aggressive strategies just days after Carlos Ambrise's December 2021 killing. Kansas City, Kansas Police Department is not talking and having meetings to talk. We're actually out doing and the numbers suggest that. After seeing reductions around 25% for homicides and robberies last year, shootings are down 45% so far this year, homicides down 60%. The pastors want a group violence initiative targeting gang or group related violence, helping members escape the lifestyle. The police department has sent the program over to the Unified Government's Legal Review and John Jay College to do a deeper dive on the data and resources necessary. There is some violence there, but it's not a significant amount of violence. Like I said, a lot of it is um, individuals, domestic violence, and um, the, the fit and all drug and trafficking. So whatever piece we can help with the community, with the police department, to reduce violence, to reduce murder, to reduce these crimes. Uh, it's a win-win for everybody. One less murder is a huge victory in Wyandotte County. Now, as far as fentanyl goes, though, we've done a lot of reporting about the dangers of the drug itself. It's really the first time I'd heard a police chief associated with the crimes, say, of crack cocaine in the 80s of what they're really dealing with. Chief Oakman tells me that they are seizing anywhere from two to five guns on most of those fentanyl drug raids. Dave DeMarco, Fox 4.